Igor, what are we gonna do tonight? The same thing we do every night, Pinky. We're gonna learn the English language, let's do it. Every day we learn English and hello everybody, what's new in our life? It was our new type of uh, beginning. I tried to do voices different uh, because I'm a voice actor from Russia and I can do different voices with you. Yeah. Yes, let's go watching today uh, Meet Carl P Pilkington and it will be maybe interesting, maybe not about my channel. I'm a Russian man who brings value through my own experiences and today I want uh, to share experience of learning this stuff of uh, Mar M K K Carl Pilkington and uh, my English journey started two years ago and I have been learning English for two years and I want to improve it, I want to improve my comprehension of listening and we can do this together with you. Let's go! <laughs> Let's start it. Some of the crazy stuff I uh, created inside of my mind with this voice impressions. Hello. Hello. And um, welcome to this DVD extra. I suppose it should be called Meet Carl Pilkington 2. We did a little bonus feature for my politics DVD. Um, where we where we talked about he looks really like a Homer Simpson um, Politics obviously and that sort of introduced you to the world that that was put on um, YouTube and it's had like a million hits So I think you know it's time we did that again, but um, around science a, a, a subject that did it again. if possible You know less about than you did about politics in a way Okay, right, right now we'll be more about, more about politics. Science. Oh, again? What is... I reckon I do know more about science. What is science? Uh, <laughs> it's in everything, isn't it? Can't avoid science. It's interesting because people who believe in God say that about God. He's in everything. No, no, but this is, this is like proper. This is, you know, if people want to believe in God, that's all right. But science is... Without science, you wouldn't have any of this. Well, it's almost the antithesis, isn't it? That if you believe in the magic of, you know, God and all his impossibilities and the illogical, and, uh, you know, that's science looks at hard empirical facts. See, all that went right off my head. I'm into science, I'm into the weird science. Um, into weird science. You know, I like the fun of it. There's a lot of fun in science. The Big Bang. Oh, I know. It is. They build the pyramids. Let's start at the beginning. Okay, it is not about TV show. It is the start of our planet. The Big Bang. Okay. Here, what do you think of this? An atom, right, is mostly nothing. One analogy is it's like a fist in the Albert Hall. So an atom... Albert Hall? One moment. Albert... Albert Hall. What is Manchester? Wow, 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 that's amazing. I want to visit it. Architecture type Italianate. One moment, it is really beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god. I I didn't think that I will say it, but it is really fucking awesome. I I really want to be here. I want to, to make a stadium tour and make it here. I will save it in uh, like a peanut really I have never ever seen th the most beautiful like architectural thing really inside it looks like a place when I want to do performance thank you for this video really really I like Atom, the size of the Albert Hall the matter part of it okay the nucleus would be a fist the rest is space okay that's one thing, with a fly buzzing around it as the electron, just a, a, yeah, a charge. Now, when we look at it on that scale, it's easy to understand that all matter 
that exists, everything in this universe was once in the space many, many times smaller than an atom. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. It happened in uh, so small amount of time. I remember we were learning, we were learning um, astro astrology, astronomy, and uh, on astronomy lesson we learned that uh, it happened in ten in minus thirty six uh, degree second. It happened. Big Bang. Let's Google it. Big Bang time timeline. 10 minus 43 even minus 43 the big band 10 minus 43 yes i remember this from school i graduated on uh, 2015 that doesn't no one most people watching this are going i don't get that my head hurts what else is on everything in the universe could be crammed into the, the tiniest thing imaginable and that was sitting there <laughs> in the beginning of time, right? 15 billion years ago, right? And then it expanded into a universe in a few minutes. But was the minutes then? No. So we don't know then. We don't know how long it took. Not that it matters, I'm not bothered. It's here now. And that's what I'm saying to you. It's all amazing that, the Big Bang thing. I've said to you, was it a big bang or was it just because there was nothing else there to drown out the noise? At the end of the day, it's that whole thing, isn't it? The noise, was there even a noise if no one's there to hear it? Don't be worrying about all that stuff. Leave it to Stephen Hawking to do it. Of course he can sit there and think about it. He's got nothing else to do. Stephen Hawking is dead right now, yes? What's age was when it happened? One moment. Stephen... Mosquito. Tim Ho Oki. He's dead, yes. 2018, yes, it was uh, much more before of it. Rest in peace. Let him get online. Oh, th it's great to think. I like thinking, but my world's too busy. I always got to be doing other things. He sat there just thinking. I'd be the same if I was in his shoes. Exactly the same thinking but he's, he's he's done that much thinking he's thinking about things now he doesn't need to think about pack it in steve have a rest <laughs> play pac-man do do whatever just do something else stop worrying about the big bang <clears throat> he's wasting his life thinking about something that doesn't matter we don't need to know the answer he's wasting his life thinking about something that doesn't matter good it, it doesn't matter does it in your life of things that matter, where would you put the Big Bang? No, but then, but then no, where do you draw the line? We're not here for long enough. Well, we're not here for long enough. But then enough. nothing matters then, does it? So yeah, we, it does, yeah. What, what things does? matter. What matters? Well, keeping people happy. Okay. You know, uh, looking after people. So, so keeping them happy could be giving them life-saving drugs or feeding a, um, a starving world or letting someone become mobile that was otherwise yeah. immobile. And that's, that's fine. But you're talking about space. When did it start? Where does it end? It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You know, Ma it goes on. He, he's speaking with a Cockney accent almost. And on and on and on. We know that. Ma Atoms, they're not getting in the way. Stop Atoms. worrying about them. I read something about some scientists trying to smash one up. What for? <laughs> they're not in the way. If they were big and I kept bumping into them, I'd smash them up, break them down. Gravel, make gravel out of them. <laughs> make atoms! Make atoms so tiny that they're only gravel. No, but what, what I'm saying is, it's not an issue. And right. there's loads of problems in the world. There is loads of problems. You may mention them all, the starvation, all that. And someone's faffing. The most uh, biggest problem in the world right now it is about ecology. I think, my opinion. For this moment. Like uh, 2020, 7th October. Of October. About with an atom. Mm. That isn't going to sort anything out. Mm -hmm. The space race. What is it? Ah, like aliens. Maybe it, is a, it exists. Some people say mathematics is the tool 
of science. You need maths to do anything in science. Yeah, of precision. I believe that. I believe that. You do. I like doing DIY. I told you, there's a lot of maths involved. Accuracy. Right. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Just taking it slightly even more accurate than than DIY. Um, micro surgery. Um, putting a man on the moon. The figures had to be pointless. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Again, you see, if we didn't have the numbers, that wouldn't have happened. But all we've done is create something else we did. Mathematics can explain everything almost in our world, in some way. Yes, it is specific language. It is uh, like language that we speak. I speak Russian. Я могу говорить вот так, и ты, возможно, меня не понимаешь. I said uh, I can speak this way, and you maybe not understand what I said. And uh, I can speak English. And mathematics, it is one more language. And mathematics, it is more like um, for each country language. Everybody who from Russia can understand language of math mathematics from England, almost. It is kind of dialect, maybe, will be of mathematics, because different countries use different uh, kind of numeration, different types of of uh, acronyms, uh, abbreviation, of uh, different symbols, and it is like dialects, like accents, but it's not like a new language for a new country. It is dialects, guys. Didn't need because of something else we've got. We didn't have to put man on the moon. What was he doing? What did he do? Nothing. Has he been back? No, he hasn't. He didn't enjoy it. <laughs> no one. <laughs> he didn't enjoy it. No one else has gone up there. The only reason, the thing that I've thought of recently when I thought that would be good to go into space again is to get rid of rubbish. That's what I do. They're always going on about. Yes, uh, exactly. We have a lot of rubbish on our planet. About landfill and everything. It's not good. We can't get rid of all this. Shoot it up there. Stick it into space. It's mm. expanding. There's loads of space. Mm. Stick all the shit up there. Don't be sending a man up. I, I, I heard that one of them astronauts knocking a golf ball about on the moon. Leave your golf clubs at home and take some shit up with you and tip it. <laughs> yeah. But do you know how much fuel is needed to get a kilo? I understand that uh, Carl Pilkington, uh, Pilkington has accent more of Cockney because he speaks uh, about uh, H and with T non super pro super pronounced like Om, it is home, horses, it is uh, horses. How much will be how much how much? And uh, T, he almost uh, makes it silent. Not fully, but almost. It is kind of mixture between uh, his own Manchester accent and uh, Cockney. The gram of something up out of the Earth's atmosphere and into oh, space. He had a golf club with him. A I golf know. ball. Okay, but how much, how much rubbish do you think we can really get rid of? As much as you want. But how much fuel does it take? I mean, there's, it's a matter of economics as well. Think of the fuel that were, the fuel that would. Yes, need a lot of fuel to start purchasing of uh, of spaceship. Take a bin bag full up into space would far outweigh that bin bag being on Earth. But they keep going into space now. They're not going to the moon. They knock around space, messing with satellites. Right. Less astronauts. A couple of bin bags. Chuck some shit up there, and what's good with it is, it won't break up, it'll just keep circling. And up there then, space isn't space anymore, it'll be like a museum. Because there'll be old stuff from years ago. At the moment, we're not, we, we don't save anything, do we? It's all about recycling. Mm. Everything's destroyed, there's no evidence of the past. Mm. Go into space, it'll be like Antiques Roadshow of shit from the years gone by. Right. I'd like to see this episode. That's mental, Carl. It's not mental. It is mental. How would you get the rubbish up there? In the rocket. Yeah, but you don't know anything. Do you it's know how much there. fuel it takes to well, burn? But they're going up anyway. I'm just saying, at least if they're going up there, do something. Do something different. <laughs> it's space. There's nothing in space. Well, let's put something there. That's what we do as humans. We don't like plain space. We fill it. That's what we do. So just chuck some shit into space, that's all I'm saying. If you're up there, get rid of a few bin bags. Brilliant, that's space. There's nothing... Don't you understand what I'm saying? There's nothing... Yeah, but it's mental. It's, 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 everything's wrong with it. 
it's a ter once again a terrible flawed theory. Floor fairy. Okay, time travel. Time travel like from this book. Stephen King, 11, 22, 63. Do you know what's the date? It is, uh, yes, Kennedy. GVK. And uh, about... Uh, I wanted to Google something, but I forgot. Okay. I want to say that my English is improved, really. I listen to them and I understand them. And really with a nice uh, level of understanding. And... Uh, it is not like a stand-up, it is only a conversation between them. Time machines, they're a funny, that's science. Well, we're sort of going into the future, aren't we, all the time, by no, definition. Every day, every day we are, yeah. Exactly, yeah. But I'm talking about people want to do big leaps, Wait, don't they? Sorry. Yeah. I met a scientist once, you know, um, that old fellow I met, proper scientist. He said he'd love to get in a time machine. Patrick Moore? No, um... Wolf, Heinz Wolf. All right. I met him, he said, I'd love a time machine. Where would he go, back or? Yeah, forward? back. He said he wanted to go back, because he asked me, he said, where do you want to go? And I said, oh, uh, I think I picked a holiday that I had. So you went back five or six years? Because I knew exactly what I'd be going back to. He enjoyed that week. I'd be going back, I wouldn't have to pay for that holiday, I've already paid for it. It's not like I'm turning up and someone's going, get out, you shouldn't be here. I was there. So you're going back because you reckon you'll save 400 quid? Well, it's 250. It was a bargain. In Mallorca, a villa, swimming pool, three bedrooms. That's what you'd use a time machine for? I'm just saying, why do people always... I really, I feel like uh, this left man, I forgot what's uh, his name. One moment, I, I maybe will find him in the comment section. In the comment section, Carl, 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 uh, Carl, uh, someone else. Ricky, Ricky. Ricky, I think that uh, Ricky is smart, uh, but Carl, yes, I understand that Carl is an idiot, like he called, or maybe it is uh, only his, like, uh, image, maybe it is his visualization, visualization of him, maybe it is self-brand of him, like this way, and he feels comfortable in this situation, and... Um, Carl Pillington speaks like maybe funny things. He, they make a sh they make this show. Maybe it is created specifically for show, not for something like a, to speak reality. If I would have time machine, this time machine, what could I do? Maybe where will I go? I want to go to future, maybe. Future will be better, I hope. About past? No, I don't want to go to past. I want to go f to future times without uh, growing. It will be good. And uh, I think that I like present. If I could have two chances, like two chances to do like I I can live this life and I can uh, time travel to the past then I use it I will use it and I will come back to I want to communicate with sound from 18th century yes and I want to go back also to Michael Jackson time and Elvis Presley, I want to look at this, how it was. But I can communicate, I can watch it, by the way, on movies, on uh, docu documentary, because uh, television appeared already on those times. Okay, I, I started to speak in a way uh, like Carl Pillington speaks, uh, so slow and with uh, <laughs> what kind of, you are with drugs inside of yourself. Okay, let's watch. I have to jump so far. So hold on then, let me get this straight. Are you going back and it's you now and you've had that five years and you're loving it, oh, I remember doing this, or are you going back and just reliving it like a memory and no one knows the difference and nor do you? It's like you just do it and then you have to... No, no. Ah, like butterfly effect. Oh, I, everybody there doesn't know I've gone back in time. Right. So you've come from the future then? 
Yeah, but they don't know that. No, I know, but you're in your body then, you look like you did then, but actually, it's Carl five years on. Yeah, but I'm having the same holiday, and I'm going to enjoy it more. So you're not coming back with going like, oh, Rita, go and get that checked out? No. And, no? Just have a holiday. But the weird thing is, this professor bloke, he wanted to go back, he said he wanted to go back when, like, cavemen were knocking about to see how they sort of mooched about and how they survived. See, that to oh. me is more interesting than going back on a holiday I've already had. I'll be honest. You wouldn't go back to being a caveman. You'd eat it. You'd be going, oh, God, send me back. And they go, no, no. You've got to stay here for a bit. It's an expensive machine. About 10,000 years. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand that. I wouldn't want to go forward either. So cause... when you went back, so, what, so suppose you went back to caveman times, right? You, you are you, right? You'd fit in fine. Oh, I'd be brilliant. Yeah. I'd be the king. Maybe. No, I would. Right, what would you do then? No, How would you... like you said, they'd be worried they come, about... They go, they go, they go. Really? I'm a caveman. Slightly different, isn't it? No, it's not. It's exactly the same. We haven't changed bodily. I've got a pair of pants on. Right. So you go back naked, so you'd fit in? No. Because well, I'd look all pale and... No, no, no. You wouldn't go back naked. Or they'd go, they would take your pants off. The first thing they'd do if you went there with pants, they would rip your pants off. No, they wouldn't. They would. They you wouldn't. can't go back with pants on. You've got to go back naked. It's summer, they're walking around naked. Why would you go with pants on? Before you get in the time machine, you'd have to take your pants off. No, because I want to come across like I'm something from the future. Okay. So I walk in. And they will not going, believe. Oh. What are they doing? What do they say? They just can't believe it. They're going, what's going on? What do you yes, say? Yes, yes, yes. I say, I'm just visiting. What are you wearing then? What are you Jean, wearing? Jean, this. I've gone like this. Okay. They would definitely want to see... No, they wouldn't. They would, to they wouldn't, because they're sick of seeing it. To them, it's like being on a nudist beach. They're no longer looking at cock and bollocks and tits and arse. They're seeing it every day. To them, it isn't weird. To me, I'll probably be looking at them. Go and put some pants on. I don't understand why they couldn't do that, really. They, I think they did the wheel before the pants. <laughs> so, really? Yeah, I think they did. I think they did. I think they did. We, they did the wheel before Biology. The Ah, what was biology? Okay. Life sciences. Biology. The life sciences. Isn't it amazing that we're here? That anything is here? That we're having a chat now in front of these cameras for a DVD extra? And we started off as a single cell blob, a little thing that had the right temperature in the right compound the right minerals, ultraviolet, that little thing happened. This little nucleus. It was just a, just a cell, okay? But I don't like thinking about that. And then it divided, then it... Yeah. Got a skin, and then... Yeah. I don't want to know. You know, when people get in touch from Friends Reunited, I go, that was 20 years ago, I don't want to know. Right. So I certainly don't want to know. I feel like I become... Uh become dumber and dumber by watching this TV show because it is kind of easy to talk about it. Maybe it is kind of for me easy because I was learning... I I was studying in my uh, school and I'm uh, a great student. Like not fully A, a grades, but with a nice understanding of subject. And for me, it is kind of uh, maybe hard to listen to their talk because I know it uh, in Russian language. No, about. Th but okay, okay, okay. Sorry if I hurt your feelings. Hurt. Thirty million years ago. Okay. I want my little time zone that I'm right. born, I live, and I die in. Okay. okay, Igor, no need to judge them for this stuff, it is all about me, because uh, everybody can find something interesting in something, 
Really, in everything we can find interesting. Even in this thing we can think different way, like what's material of it, or maybe what's the way of biology is it, or maybe how we can use it to do voiceovering, how to we can uh, how can we use it to do jewelry and other stuff. How can we use it to create a character in our book if we write a book? We are writers need to think about this stuff too with different angles even though if we know all information that's all i can worry about it doesn't fascinate you at all it doesn't fascinate it you it's amazing all. but it hurts your head doesn't it i don't the, the, like the, it I don't just like by it. chance something happened uh, a genetic mutation and that and that and then that was chosen by nature it worked it survived okay but certain things work and they're not that impressive like slugs you always say, well, it's evolved. It hasn't evolved. Okay, we share about 70% of our genetic material with a slug. What 70%? Well. What, what 70% has that got that I've got? It's got 70%. I've coughed up stuff. That looks like a slug. <laughs> if that's a 70% you're talking about, but there's nothing else... Nothing in a slug. There is. Nothing. You share, you share DNA with an onion. I've heard that. That's the roundness of the head, probably. I'm telling you. <laughs> the That's funny. slug has about 70% of the same genetic material as the human species. We're that close. We're that close. <laughs> all the hard work, all the hard work was done then in terms of, like, getting it right. A slug got it right. A slug is as evolved as us. It's perfect. It's not perfect. Why? Okay. It's definitely not perfect. Why? Why isn't it perfect? It's just not great. I've, I've, I've had to deal with slugs a lot when they were like blocking up my shower. Right. There's a gang of them in the tube. How can they be uh, as evolved as me? What are they doing? Up <laughs> there. Just all mush, mushified. <laughs> mushified! Right, talk me through it. What happened? Just was having a shower and the shower basin filled up. I was right. Like, What's going on here? Yeah. So I got a plunger. Right. So sort of bits of black stuff. I mean, what is this? I had to te unscrew the, the, the plug hole bit. Couldn't quite get down there. Yeah. To take the tiles off the side of the shower thing. Right. Got in there, unscrewed it all, got the pipe. Just slugs all in there, all sat in there, blocking it up. Don't know right. how they got in there, but that's what I'm saying to you. They don't know what they're doing, what they're doing knocking about in there. Get out! <laughs> now what are they doing? I don't know to this day what they do. It is so like, how to say it, so not abstract, it is so like, um, something that... Uh, average people will not do and uh, that seems funny it is so like a not super it's so so super simplest simplicity it is uh, 10,000 10,000 person simplicity that we can hear from Carl Pilkington and uh, it makes it funnier maybe I watch insects you know I like insects they survive that's what they I want to read his book because he wrote many different books and it will be interesting maybe, maybe not, because I don't know what he will write. Uh, right now I feel kind of, Jesus, he speaks the thing so slowly, but maybe I think too slow. They do, they're chosen yeah, but by they nature. Don't know. There's, there's another one, there's loads of insects knocking out the house, there's a spider in the outside shed. It's not an insect nor a slug. Slug is a mollusk, spider's an arachnid. All right. Okay. The spider's in the cupboard outside. Right. I'm not joking, it's been there now for about two years. Right. Could be three. Okay. Same one, it's quite big. Right. It just sits there in the corner. Right. I go in, I smash its web up. Why? Because I don't want it there. Right, fine. I don't want to kill a spider. Right. But I'm sort of saying, I'm wrecking your house. If you move, there's no problem, move. I go back, it's built its web again. Just right. sat there like that. Doing uh, nothing. <laughs> what is the point? <laughs> well, it's not doing nothing, is it? Well, it's building its house. Every it's time hunting. I wreck it. It's hunting. It's not even doing that. Well, it is. 
That's what it. Ha that's how it does it. It's made. A, it's made a web, and things fly into it. Then it wraps them up, sucks the juice out. Right. Well, for what? To then sit in this shed. And it's what not are you doing? Existence. What Why didn't it go? But you're eating. You're staying in your flat. You want to go back to Mallorca five years ago. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, well, it depends. I've been. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? In another billion years, you'll be the slug. The human race could be the slugs. There could be this amazing being that, that, that evolved from us going, what are they doing? People go, well, you know, 70% of their genetic material. You don't know how it's going to go. You stood on the shoulder of giants. You stood on a few slugs. You told if I would be a slug, who, who, slug, then maybe, I will do sluggery, slithery everywhere. Maybe I will try to build a huge home for slugs. It will be our kingdom. Yes. If I will be a slug, I want to build a kingdom. Told me in your flat. But we share our ancestry with those slugs. We are related to slugs. I have never watched Who Do You Think You Are? And they've gone, they've gone to your family tree. Do you know uh, Terry the Slug? He's a great uncle of yours. We don't need to know where we've come from. Terry the Slug, what? Terry the Slug. Terry Bogart, Metal Slug Wiki, what? I don't understand it. From. <coughs> Nobody would want to hear that either on that program. You would not want to hear that. Yeah, but you're... There's nothing to do with us. <sighs> nothing. Oh. It's happened. It's all, happened. all an accident. But it's a matter of degrees. Your brother. Right. Okay. Very close to you. Your cousin. I haven't seen him for about 12 years. <laughs> okay. Genetically speaking. Couldn't get closer. Okay. It's the closest you can be. A brother, a son, a mother. To accept, you know, accept a clone. An identical twin. Okay. So... Cousin, a bit less. Great cousin. Da -da -da. Bloke around the world. Da -da -da. Chimp. Marmot. Mouse. Bird. I don't know what you're doing now. You're just saying words at me. <laughs> yes, exactly. What's a marmot? <laughs> doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But you're related to him. You're related to him. Logic. With all our evolution, now we can sit around doing Sudoku and inflaming our mind and inventing art and stuff. Um, so I want to I want to use to use you know scientific method. Let's use a bit of logic, okay? I'll give you a couple of conundrums because I want to see how how you've evolved, okay? Um, there's two children sitting on a bench. Yeah. Okay. 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 Ready? Yeah. Okay. There's a boy and a girl. Okay. They're the, they're the kids on the bench. Yeah. There's a boy and a girl sat on a bench. Yeah. The blonde-haired child yeah. mm -hmm. says, I'm a girl. Right. The brown-haired child says, I'm a boy. At least one of the children are lying. <laughs> which one's the boy and which one's the girl? One moment. It, is it easy? So easy or not? Like uh, blonde should be a boy, and another a girl. Oh, lying. At least one lying. At least one lying. The. It's so simple. But it could be not so simple, because maybe we have another children too, in this story. Maybe only one is of them lying, and then we have two girls. But uh, our beginning of the story was uh, like one, one girl and one boy. And one boy. But what else can I see there? Can you I can't. tell by the way they look, or am I no, blind? You, no, you can't see. I'm blind. Yeah, you can't see. I'm just, I'm telling you, 
There's still the information you need. And they actually sound, I can tell by voice. No, or... no, no, you can't. No, 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 you can't. I'm telling you, okay? So hang on, say, Two say children this is your... on the bench, right? You've come to me, I haven't seen these. No, no. This thing you need to watch when you are drunk and uh, you drank fuck load of uh, cans of beer or something. I've not heard them. You've come no. to me and yeah. said, I've just been in the park. Yeah, yeah. Say again, I've just been in the park yeah. and I've seen yeah. a lad and a girl, one had brown hair, one had blonde hair. Yeah. The, the, the blonde haired child said, I'm a girl. Yeah. The brown haired child said, I'm a boy. At least one of them is lying. Which one's the girl and which one's the boy? A reverse. I don't know. We'll think. I don't want to. Why don't you want to? I don't want to work it out. It's a very easy one. Just think through the scenarios in your head. I'm a girl. Who said that? The brown haired one. I'm a no, girl. the blonde haired one said I'm a girl. One of them is lying. Yeah, <laughs> at least one of them is lying. The lad. So just the, just the boy is lying? Oh, well, both of them are. Well, they've got to be both lying, haven't they? Why? Because there's a boy and a girl there. One of them saying they're a girl, one saying they're a boy. Yeah, so if one of them's lying... But they're both lying. They have to be both lying. So the blonde-haired kid's a boy. Right. See? But what, 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 are we, what are you doing with that? Because it trains the mind. To think logically, to think through it. That's that's imposing a scientific method. Okay, okay. I oh by the way, my video appeared here. You can watch it. Like on the this side. Oh no, here, here it's me. On a Russian language. Okay, I want to Google about uh, Carl Pillington. Is he an idiot or not? Is Carl P. Clinton acting. No, no, no. An idiot? One moment. N need to Google. I don't. I don't think that uh, he is an idiot. I think that it is on the show. Born 1972 in Manchester, grew up on Rake Course Estate in Sale, Great Manchester, along with the siblings, and attended Ashton on Mercy Secondary School on Salu Avenue. Voice actor, radio producer, actor, comedian, comedian, author, television presenter. I don't think that he's that he is so stupid. He's not stupid. He plays stupid. Uh, like, no, uh, he's not, like, his game, acting game is stupid. I mean that he plays uh, his role on this shows, maybe, to play a stupid person. Not stupid, like, uh, I don't want to judge people, like, stupid is not good, but uh, he plays, like, uh, I will pretend that I'm not smart enough, I will do, like, uh, 70... IQ things or maybe 60 and uh, you should believe in it it is make believe game maybe maybe not but thank you a lot for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, it was not like su super laughable because uh, I have a little bit of resonance inside of my mind dissonance and uh, Thank you a lot for everybody, improve yourself daily, learn new stuff, I understand that I started to understand uh, I understand that I started to understand, <laughs> I started to understand uh, much more in English uh, language. I can understand this British accent. Maybe in one day I can I could understand a New Zealand accent because New Zealand is for me the hardest one, maybe and Cockney too. Maybe in one day, yes, we can. Okay, thank you a lot. Be cool and be with having fun. Bye-bye.